right, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I appreciate everybody for starting your new year out um, with us here at the Momentum Virtual 2021 conference. We hope to inspire you to kind of get motivated to do anything you want in life or in business or whatever your ventures may hold for this year. Um, I'm Janelle Dean. I'm the CEO of Desert Creative Group. Uh, we're a full service marketing and creative agency here out of Idaho in the United States. We service um, businesses of all shapes and sizes um, throughout the world um, in a matter of different types of things, whether it's growing their business, helping them with their marketing, um, all the creative services that go along with that and more. We kind of focus on three main um, business ventures. We do consulting and guidance, and then we help implement with implementation and services. And then we also help with training and support for those that like to take control of their own marketing um, and be able to give them the knowledge and tools to be able to do that. So today I'm going to be talking about purpose and how important it is um, for the success of business, marketing, and more, and how to even infuse it into your life. Um, so one of the biggest things that kind of fueled me to want to talk about this was I was at an event once and I was asked to describe what I do and my business does in one word. And it took a minute for me to really think about what exactly we do because we do so much and everything is really unique to each client and helping them kind of fill in the gaps that they need help with. But the root of everything that we help do is basically identify the purpose and help people figure out what they can do to fulfill their purpose. And it just reminded me how vital it is to always keep that in the forefront and in the kind of pivotal role of everything that you do day to day or long term or just how you conduct yourself in your day to day life as well. So when we think about purpose, there's really three main layers to it. You can think of it like an onion and you kind of need to break it down. And first is the really high level, um, your life's purpose. And that's the overarching theme that kind of drives you and why you do things. And um, so in business, this is often identifying your mission and your values and your vision statements and things like that. And then we go one step further in the second level, and that's kind of how can I further or carry out my life's purpose? And I usually... Um, kind of guide people to do this through their goal setting on what are particular goals that make up your overarching mission and values. And then the third level is breaking that down one step further into more detail. And that's your day to day and how you live out your purpose. And so those are direct action items of everything that you can do to achieve your goals that ultimately achieve your purpose in life. So we're going to talk about how to apply purpose to your business and marketing. And there's a few ways you can do that. And <clears throat> one thing is going to be defining your organization's mission, vision, and values. And that's really important because that is the core foundation of your business. You know, what is our mission? How are we going to carry it out? What does it look like when we attain our mission? And what are the value systems that kind of guide what we do and how we conduct ourselves, not just in business, but how we treat our employees, how we treat our customers and the things we really stand by. So these are the building block that makes up your brand, that makes up your business, and that actually is your overall legacy on what you hope to attain in the lifetime of your organization. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. I spent my new year fighting a cold, so I'm working on getting over that. So next we're gonna do, um, move to the second one, which is start to building a marketing strategy. And 
business and marketing go hand in hand. It also goes hand in hand with sales and everything needs to be working together on the same principles in order to be effective. So when we talk about building your marketing strategy, it's everything that's going to be public facing on how your business grows, how you bring in customers, how you identify people and those channels that you choose to talk to them through. Um, your marketing really in this instant is how you publicly conduct yourself as a business. So when you're developing a marketing strategy around your mission and values, um, you have to identify the who, what, where, how, and why. And so the who is your audience, the what is where you're, what you're actually going to communicate to them, where is where they get their information and where you're going to put that information out to reach those people effectively. So think about that like as social media, press, media, advertising, and those kind of channels there or, you know, written publications and things like that. How you're going to go about doing that is the type of materials that you're going to make for that, whether it's, you know, long form educational content or visual pieces that are really striking and stunning. Um, and it's just going to be how you're going to carry out those communication things. And then most importantly is why and why is kind of a multifaceted discovery thing with that where you're going to identify why they care, why you do what you do, and how you're going to push that why, you know, throughout all of your things. And why is largely the purpose that you identify with that. And then next we're going to go to goal setting and when you this is that second level i was talking about with goal setting i usually like to defer define long-term goals in the 10-year kind of realm on ultimately where do i want to get and then once i have an idea of the end game or you know not that your business is only going to last 10 years but an end game on long-term growth and then you can always take that another 10 years further. But once we have an idea of what that looks like, then we can say, okay, well, in the next two years, then what do we have to achieve to get us to that 10 year goal? And then those are the midterm goals. And then we break it down one step further into short term goals, which is usually six to 12 months. And in those six to 12 months, what can we do with that time and resources um, to get us to that two-year goal? So once you have the six-month idea and the short-term goals pivoted down, you can start to really dissect those identifying goals into action items. And those are going to be really specific. And those will be really specific things that will carry out your purpose. And this is where it gets really important is every single element, whether it's a Facebook post, a blog post, a web page that you make with information and how to contact you and your call to actions, they should be important and be an element to carry out your goals. So you have no wasted resources, you have no wasted time and energy and things, every single thing you should put out should be which goal is this going to help me achieve and which goal is it going to be furthering my life's purpose so then we take the same kind of principle and apply it to your life and it's the same kind of thing broken down you know what do you stand for and what will be your legacy what is going to be your life's work and what you're known for and then we take that one step further and go in a little bit more in depth and we're going to identify our priorities and those priorities should reflect what your legacy is going to be so your priorities could be spending more time with family you know prioritizing self-care so you don't get burnt out and you can actually keep going and the most important thing to keep in mind is we only have limited time in the day, the month, the year, and in life. Like we don't know when life is going to end. We only know we have so many hours and minutes in the day to get things done. And the most important thing is to choose your time wisely. And don't be afraid to say no if it doesn't focus on your priorities. 
And that's one thing that I've struggled with over the last 10 years and have been getting um, significantly better at and everything is, I don't need to please everybody. I don't need to say yes to everything. I need to really take the time to say, is this going to help me with my business? You know, is this going to help me with my goals on spending more time and focusing on family? Is this going to really drive my life's purpose? And if it doesn't, I'm not going to waste my time because it's not working for me in the long run. So with that, that I just wanted to take the next probably about 10, 15 minutes to kind of have questions, talk about whether that's if you have questions in your business with your marketing or just even your life on ways or suggestions that you might be able to focus more on your purpose to get a more meaningful life and a little bit more organized life. So feel free to have any questions. Um, I also have my contact info. You can follow Desert Creative Group on Instagram, LinkedIn, on Twitter. We have our website, desertcreativegroup.com. And then you can also reach out to me directly. Uh, my email is janiel at desertcreativegroup.com. So I just wanted to turn it back over to questions. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen.